OK, the subject of this next tutorial is how to write better code. We've already learnt about comments, both blocks of comments and individual lines of comment, which help other people to understand our code. But it's also really important that our code itself is neat and readable and, more importantly, easy to change later if we need to. So adaptable. One of the most important things that we might need to change in our program is which input and output pins we are using in order to turn things on and off and in order to look for button presses. If, for example, I wanted to change this program so that instead of responding to button A4, it responded to button A5, I would simply have to change the number 4 to a 5 here, but also change A4 to A5 here. Now, this is a very simple program with only a few lines of code. As you can imagine, if my program had become much more complicated with many hundreds or even thousands of lines of code, having to go through and find every single occasion where I had written A4 and change it to be A5 would be an extremely time consuming process. And I might quite easily miss one and that would make my whole program stop working. So what we normally do is we use things called constants to keep track of which inputs and outputs we're actually using and to enable us to change these much more easily if we decide that we want to use different inputs or outputs in our code. We define constants outside of either the setup or the loop, normally at the top here. The first type of constant we're going to learn about is an integer constant. That's what the INT here means, integers. Integers, as we know, are whole numbers. And all of our input and output pins are going to be integers. As you can see, pin 1, and even, slightly peculiarly, pin A5. There is actually an integer number that the, the special term A5 represents. So up here, we have defined a constant integer. And now we're going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it LED pin. And I'm going to give it a value. And I'm going to say that that value is 1. And don't forget your semicolon. What I've done here is I've said I've now created an integer called LED pin whose value is 1. And everywhere else in my program where I refer to LED pin, the program now knows that it should instead replace that with the number 1. So down here in my pin mode command, I'm going to say pin mode LED pin output. And what that does is it says whichever number LED pin represents, in this case, pin 1, that's the pin that I want to make an output. Similarly, down here in my digital write commands, I'm going to change them to say LED pin and LED pin. And now, if I want to change my program so instead of flashing LED 1 on and off, it flashes LED 3 on and off, all I have to do is change that 1 to a 3 in this one place at the top of my program, and it will automatically update the number here, here, and here, and anywhere else in my big and complicated programs that I might make reference to that number. Clearly, this is a great way of making my code adaptable so that I can change which pins I'm using at a later stage. This is particularly important if I want to reuse programs on a slightly different hardware board. For example, the electronic die board that we're going to be looking at in a little while's time. I might want to reuse whole segments of code that I wrote for a different board or shield. And all I will have to do is change which pin numbers I am referring to at the top of my code and everything else will work as it did on the other board. This is really good practice. To complete this program, we're also going to define a constant integer for the button that we're using. So const int, in this case, I'm going to call it button pin and I'm going to make that equal to A4. Don't forget the semicolon. And then here, 
I'm going to say make button pin an input. And here I'm going to say digital read from button pin. Now, if I want to change that button from A4 to A5, I only have to do it in this one place at the top of my code. And that's why constants are so useful.